this is what the system with the ducting and uh, ventilation is all about. We've got a heat recovery or energy recovery ventilator. And then the air is distributed. What you have here is two plates. And I've got some samples of these. We'll show them. We'll be able to see that all afterward. In a box, the plate is attached to it. The ducting attaches to that. It's actually got an O-ring that you can slip on here. There are clips. That slides in. The clips in place that would be the O-ring would be on there. And that's connected. So those tubes. This would be fresh air going out to the, to the building, and this would be a return coming back. So you'd have your fresh air going through a noise attenuator to the distribution box, through your manifold, and then out to the house, and then you have register boxes. Just the same way. Clip system. This box is mounted in the wall or the ceiling. And then the duct is clipped in the same way. All O-ring sealed on both ends, all home runs, and zero air leakage. Whereas a conventional American-made ducting system by, by statistically has 20 to 30% leakage. So no leakage with, with this system. Uh, it is. Yeah, you'll be able to see that. Yes, yeah, it's, it's flex on the outside, smooth on the inside. Yeah. And short pieces don't bend real well, but they do have a fairly tight bend circumference, so you can put corners without a problem. And the actual advantage is you don't have to put. 90 degree bends in necessarily, you can have smooth turns mm -hmm. in the ducting, which is a better for airflow. And all the way through you run inside the thermal on top of right? Oh yeah. Yeah. I mean yeah, yeah. this is no different than any other yeah. any other ventilation system. Everything should be within yeah. the envelope. Yeah. yeah. And then the what you would have on this side would be an air six inch on this one, a six inch duct that goes to the outside, and you have re return air. The fresh air coming in and the return through the walls outside, which is insulated ducts for that. We'll talk more about that. What's that photograph up? This? Yeah. This is actually a, a, our office building in Switzerland again. And this is the uh, slab being prepared, and this is this is concrete slab poured over the top of that. So this is actually embedded in the concrete. What's below that? Slab on grade, insulated slab on grade. Okay. Yeah, everything is, is insulated and, and done. Yeah. You know. have different size ducts, or are they always this uh, size right there? What we have, we do some different sizes. We're doing just this for residential. This is really what applies to residential here. And uh, this is three inch outside diameter, which is one of the big factors as it goes in it's a, a standard stud wall. Somebody earlier asked about retrofit. And we're finding that uh, we've got several projects going on that are already installed. And uh, the feedback is, oh, these, this stuff's great because it feeds in and you don't have to tear an entire wall out. You can put a little hole in, and feed it through and get it to where you have to go and uh, it makes retrofitting a project much, much easier. It's a fish duck. Yeah. What's the material of the tubing? It's TP? It's, uh, no, it's uh, a, uh, yeah. It's paint like it's in polyethylene? Polyethylene piping, piping. yeah. So. No, toxic. no, totally inert and non-toxic. Yeah. Would you expect anything else? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So this is a couple of systems. It's a little small there, but you can kind of see. You've got the uh, distribution box here. You've got the silencers here, and then the, 
this is actually a comfortable box, which is a whole house geothermal based heating, cooling, ventilation system that we do in Europe. But it's got the ventilator in the top part here, and so regular ventilation system. They've got units set up for US current and frequency? Yeah, we're, we're, we're distributing right now, and uh, there's a project in uh, Oakland that's already installed that uh, the guys on the other side that they did. And we've got, you know, we've already got a dozen projects that have done. And I don't know if anybody, Passive House people, uh, Tad Everhart up in Portland, has uh, got a retrofit that he's just completed. And uh, he got the first one. He got our sample when we brought it in and wired it and made sure it all worked. And he had to have it right away, so we sent him our sample. And uh, he's running and the whole system is in. So I have actually some pictures of his project in here. Okay. You also have, we're looking at the, an option that they, they've used some in Europe. This is actually silencer duct. It's, it's duct that will, will quiet the sounds and, and uh, so we're looking at that as an optional silencer over our box unit, okay? We also are selling here the Comfort Found L, which is a uh, ground source preheater. One of the problems, it's not so much a problem here. Some of our cold climate locations or real warm climate locations, you want to temper the air before it hits the, the heat recovery ventilator. So the air comes in here, there's a filter, and it goes through, a, this is basically a fan coil in there. These two tubes here go into a loop that goes around the foundation of the house filled with glycol and it's connected, it's wired to the Comfort Air ventilation unit and a set temperature. This unit, the pump will come on and circulate that fluid through the fan coil and preheat the air or pre-cool the air before it goes into the heat recovery ventilator and it will give you a three to five percent additional efficiency as well as having, uh, for us in the cold climates, I'm in Maine, it uh, prevents frosting, which is a, can be a problem in cold climates. Where if that air is that cold coming in and passing through your box, it can cause frost. All right. It also, in the summertime, will cool the air coming in, and it also has a condensate drain, and it will actually eliminate some of the moisture coming in so that you uh, temper it a little bit that way too. 